Hello everybody, believe or not, I'm back. I'm so sorry that uh, yesterday, I mean last episode, just yesterday, I was so angry and I'm sorry I used so many like F-bombs and... Yeah, well, it's like, it's common pattern, isn't it? When somebody is angry and emotional, he lose all the rationality and he become very stupid. That's how it was uh, yesterday with me. So I'm no exception to that rule. Although I recognize it, well, I'm a still human being and I got angry and I kind of lost it, okay? So my, my, my sincere apology, okay? I, uh, please forgive me, I'm sorry, all right? <laughs> so, whatever, okay? So um, let's talk, about, talk more about il immigration. Legal and illegal immigration, okay? Because uh, I'm more, I calm down, okay? Because I have many friends, good friends, okay? So, uh, and I'm very well loved and, you know. So I, my, I tell my friends about how I felt about all that passport pass renewal they kind of this insane, unreasonable requirement of five documents, each of which should be at least five years old, and each of which should contain either my name and signature or my name and photo. That's an unreasonable demand. Uh, so I interpret, to me, the only reasonable interpretation is that they want me out of this country because nobody, nobody in this country can meet that kind of uh, strict, harsh requirement. I mean, come on, how many of you have some photo ID that is more than five years old and also that is... Huh? Do you have some kind of photo IDs that is more than five years old and do you have five of them no nobody in america has that so if somebody if the passport renewal authority as is asking that impossible demand on me that means they want me out of this country and that's donald j trump okay and uh of course he doesn't know me i'm nobody right but uh that's his attitude okay that's his policy right so Maybe I'm not that great on asset to this country because I'm nobody. Yeah, I'm I'm smart. In my opinion, I'm smarter than anyone else in the in this world or in the future, in the past. I'm the maybe ex wait, ex with the exception of Jesus, but he's son of God. He's not like us. <gasps> but to me, I'm the single the most smartest person. That ever existed, that ever exists, and that ever will exist. Okay, but that's my opinion. But so I'm doing all this because uh, I'm not appreciated. Okay, I've written many academic articles, and nobody wants it. Nobody wants to read it. Nobody appreciates my intellectual achievement at all. I'm okay with that. Okay, I made a movie. Nobody watches it. Nobody appreciates my movie. I'm okay with that too, because I don't depend on other people's appreciation for my happiness. Okay, I'm I'm just happy drinking vodka, living by myself, recording this, doing the monologue. You know, Sally Lucky. I'm okay with that. All right. And I, yesterday I said, even if they kick me out of this country, I'm okay with that too. Probably I go to uh, South Korea. I think they might accept me, but not even sure. So then where should I go if South Korea doesn't accept me? Would I go to North Korea? If I'm not even sure if North Korea would accept me. They may use me as a propaganda tool, but I don't think I would want that. So probably even if North Korea would accept me, I don't think I would go there because I love freedom. But in America, as you can see, there is no, no longer freedom. America is not like old America. It is being ruled by the dictator like Donald J. Trump or 
pro-gayism, tattoo piercism, marijuanaism, um, all these different ideologies is uh, so America is no longer free. So uh, and I was, I still am. I mean, as long as they don't deprive me of my legal, legitimate citizenship by birth, yeah, they can take it away from me for whatever reason they come up with, right? Oh, you are a fake American. I don't see you as an American. You have heavy, thick accent. And the way you think, you are so un-American. Why? Because uh, I exercise my freedom of speech. <laughs> Is that why I'm so un-American? Because I love freedom? That makes me un-American? Okay. What does America stand, stand for? What is a Americanness? Obeying the mainstream? Is that what America is about? You can never disagree. Okay, then America, obviously, Americanness is, is about anti-freedom. It's about obeyed obedience of the mainstream of uh, Donald J. Trump or whatever. If that's Ameri um, Americanness, then I refuse to be un American. Okay, I refuse. Because I want to be free. All right. So, yeah, America used to be free country. It used to stand for freedom. But if America is no longer that way, then I don't want to be an American. Okay. So that's how we left off uh, yesterday. So yeah, I was angry, but I still made some decent points. Okay. So I wasn't like totally crazy or anything. Let me pour, pour myself some more wine. I like this. Cheap red wine. The kind of wine I like is this. I pour wine to the glass and then I set it like open, you know, just open glass and let it sit there for a couple of days and it starts to acidify by the action of bacteria or why not? Yeah, so it acidifies and I really like that acidic flavor. Cheap wine, I love it. Okay, so yeah. Well, I calm down. I'm no longer emotional today. Uh, largely thanks to my friends and busy day at work. So I'm, I'm fine, okay? Don't worry about me. And um, so the way I explain to my friends is that I'm kind of a drama queen, okay, so I make, I'm also a writer too. So I make all these fictional stories about my uh, things around, surrounding me and then uh, it's not that I confuse reality and fiction. I, I'm a storyteller, so I kind of add some flavor of fiction in there, okay, to make the story more interesting. Sometimes I overdo it and <clears throat> get sometimes too emotional. Kind of wrapped up in that fictional narrative. So mostly, most, most likely, probably they will uh, renew my passport. I think because it's an unreasonable, unreasonable demand. So I think they will not strictly enforce it because that's the human beings. Passport authority. I don't think I I, th I because I sent like all, everything like all my uh, past school transcripts because I I went to many schools in America okay I sent them copy of transcripts and birth certificate and social security and car card and copy okay birth certificate I had to order it because they wanted original okay and then um. So social security, uh, yeah, you qualify because it has my name and signature. Birth certificate, it won't because <sighs> it does not have my signature on it. It has my name on it. But yeah, they, they required it, okay? Because they, but it won't count. Because uh, they asked five documents on top of birth certificate, okay? so. But let's assume that it counts, okay? So, all right, so birth certificate. And my past passport, I have two of them. I have a passport card and a passport book, okay? They have uh, my 
And I already fucking sent them already in the original application for renewal. Okay, so I think, I think I did. And my, uh, and then my driver's license. So they already had five, but my driver's license is, is rather new. Why? Because driver's license, you uh, renew more frequently than five years, I think. I don't know. Well, I'm kind of new to Alaska anyway, right? I think I renewed my driver's license like once. So yeah, it expired. It doesn't last very long in Alaska, okay? So they only have five and then I, I sent them this time, DD-214, which is uh, the proof of uh, me joining the army, I mean, and honorably discharging the army. But it, it, has, it has no signature and it, it doesn't have my photo, okay? So, and I sent them to school transcript where it has not, no, neither my signature nor my photo. I sent them uh, my old uh, Texas uh, concealed carry li concealed carry license. It's just a, you know in Texas they have a concealed carry license. You you have and I too had to take class and you know the written test and the actual shooting test. So yeah, I had concealed gun, handgun license, pistol. Okay. Yeah, it expired, but it's kind of a memento, okay? Memorabilia, so I, I still have it, okay? I love Texas, all right, so... And I love guns, too, okay? Not too much. I'm not crazy about guns, but I used to be, okay? I used to have five guns in Texas when I was in the Army, okay? I had uh, 380, and I had um, 45, and I had... 38, uh, 357 Magnum, which is also at the same time is 38 is special too. And then I have a uh, 22, which is very, very small caliber rifle. And I have a uh, uh, 20 caliber shotgun. Okay. It's not, it's not 12, but smaller. Okay. 10, 20. Okay, so uh, I had the five. I used to have five guns, and it was something very new to me. To own a gun in Korea, you don't do that. It's illegal in Korea. So yeah, something very new to me. So I loved it. But now I, I only have one gun, handgun, pistol, forty caliber. Okay. Uh, but I do have like hollow point, which is more powerful than. Blunt point, I guess, uh, because I, sometimes I go hiking, okay, or camping. Because I live in Alaska, okay, so. So yeah, I, I gave them a copy of my constant carry license, which is definitely more than five years, and so it will ca count as one. And then um, I have this all this veterans card because I'm an army veteran, okay. I have veterans ID card, and I had. Some uh, veteran organization, you know, veteran organization card and um, voters registration card, which is, which is those cards are so voters registration card. They are not five years old, and veterans ID card it doesn't show when it was issued. Okay, so they have no no way of telling it. It has no way of telling them that it's more than five years old, okay? So yeah, I'm not sure, it's not certain that uh, whether I uh, qualify as a normal, brand new stand, Donald Trump, Donald J. Trumpian standard of being an American because they came up with the stupid idea of five documents, each of which is more than five years old and each of which contains either name and signature or name and photo it's a very stupid idea nobody in america has that okay so i'm pretty sure they are doing that only to a very few people who, ha who have some suspicious history or suspicious name like me my first name i'm not going to tell you what it is but it's a korean name it's a very distinct korean name so it's definitely not an American name.
okay? And, you know, I, I'm not an old American guy, meaning I was born in America, but I was not, I'm not, I was not raised here, okay? I, I spent like nearly two decades in Korea, and then I came back, okay? And then uh, I consider myself as born and raised in America too. I was raised in America as well because I'm, to me, growing up is lifelong process. So uh, yeah, I spent less than two decades in Korea and more than two decades in America, and I'm still growing, okay? I am pretty much raised here too. That's how I see. But to me, education, growing up is lifelong process, all right? It's not like you suddenly become an adult in 18, at 18. No, that's not true. And um, so yeah, it's an unreasonable standard that Donald J. Trump and his stupid subordinates came up with. So. But they are not 100% stupid. Yeah, they are stupid, okay? If you are Donald J. Trump or if you are subordinate working for him, then yeah, you are fairly stupid, but I don't think you are 100% stupid, <laughs> okay? So probably this stupid standard, I'm not, I don't think they will enforce that st stupid standard in a very strict way, okay? so. I don't think they are strictly stupid, okay? So I think they probably will renew my passport. That would be, because that's what my friends told me, okay? Many of my friends, yeah, you'll be fine. Because I have many friends and they will love me and they don't want me to go back to Korea. I have no problem going back to Korea, okay? I prefer to be in America that, to Korea, but I have no problem going back to Korea. Why? Because women in Korea, Korean women are so beautiful. They, there is no obesity, there is no lesbianism, there is no feminism, there is no tattooism, piercism, none of that. Okay, Korean girls are they're slender and they are mostly traditional and they're feminine and extremely beautiful girls. Okay, so. I'm a simple guy, okay? Uh, it's very simple to make me happy. Just give me one woman who is slender and who have no tattoos, no piercings, and um, no plastic surgery. Oh, Korea have some plastic surgery. <laughs> yeah, so. Maybe I don't want to go back to Korea. <laughs> <laughs> Because they do these stupid things with this eyelash and shit and their nose and oh my goodness. Why do they have to fucking stupid do plastic fucking surgery man? I, I start restart this dropping F bomb again. Oh my goodness. Yeah, a lot of Korean girls they, they wanna look like white girls and they or black girls and Middle Eastern girls with big eyes and high nose. <sighs> you know, it never came to me yesterday, but thinking about it, maybe I don't want to go back to Korea, okay? Because Korean girls do a lot of plastic surgeries on there with eyes and nose and shit. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, maybe I go to Korea and I uh, just become a bachelor, stay bachelor, stay single just like I am here. I'm single in America because no American girls love me because they don't want to date me because I oppose gay marriage, I oppose trans in the bathroom, I oppose marijuana legalization, I oppose tattoos and piercings, and I oppose obesity. I advocate for healthy diet and regular exercise, but. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, so I got a new job like a month ago and it's like uh, I'm growing up, okay? It's a new job, new profession, so I have to learn the ropes. So I consume a lot of energies because 
I work overtime and most of the weekends I work too. For a, it's been like that for a month. I enjoy it, but I consume a lot of energy. So I started eating uh, peanut butter bread. Okay, I'm sorry, but at at least it's crunch peanut butter, at least. Oh, and also it, the bread is uh, like 12 grain bread, okay? 12 grain with bread, multi-grain bread, okay? See, I'm still trying, okay? And. And then, oh, I also started eating these potato chips, but at least it's like, um, it's, is it generic brand? I, I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, and I also ate like pizzas too. I had one pizza in the past month. Okay. And, um, I'm sorry if I failed you. I'm sorry if I failed you and um, if I disappointed you in any way, but uh, but it's okay because I'm kind of growing up. I'm kind of like a child. People grow up, uh, people, people until like at the age of 30. Yeah, it's okay for them to have some junk food, even cheese, because they're still growing up. They do daily activity and on top of that, they got growing up. So they need some extra energy. That's why it's okay for people who grow up to uh, eat some sugar and fat. <laughs> because they are using extra energy, okay? So, yeah, I'm using extra energy. So I think it's okay to have some, you know, comfort food. Uh, the term that one of my friends some of my friends uh, told me it's kind of English idiom. So yeah, I, I constantly am learning from my friends and um, they all want me to stay, of course, okay? Because they don't want me to go back to Korea because they love me. And, um, but as a country of America, I'm not sure if I'm a much big of an asset to them, okay? so. And I also understand the uh, uh, concept of this uh, inheritance, okay? Um, because um, it's been 22 minutes so far, but, but let's take an early break, okay? So we'll talk more about immigration, illegal or illegal, other, whatever. We'll talk about the metaphysical dimension as well, okay? So, yeah.
Okay, we are back. Oh, where's my third part? Okay, we are back. Um, so, this whole episode about this freaking passport renewal by this stupid Trumpian administration made me think and made me kind of change the position that I used to have. I, like I said like yesterday, yeah, I, I do regret voting for Trump. I no longer support him, okay? Uh, he is... And I know where he's coming from though, okay? So, we'll talk about anti-Semitism as well, okay? We, we, today's topic is immigration, alright? So, let's uh, erase all this stuff, okay? Today's topic is immigration, okay? So, we are gonna be objective about this because I calm down, my friends calm me down, so um, I'm no longer like emotional, so let's be rational about this, okay, immigration, we, we talk about this human history, okay, because uh, we have to, uh, alright, it's a big and powerful country and a small country, okay, ancient human history like thousands of years ago and there's another small country okay and this small country have a lot of gold this small country have nothing okay so it positive has some positive copium negative copium okay what happens is this this big country big and powerful country uh conquer and absorb okay this small country it has gold it has some great resources this country small country with nothing poverty and crime whatever this big country does not want this country okay he has nothing to offer so what happens these guys come immigrate into this big country so expansion here illegal immigration okay because this we are talking about thousands of years ago right they made this law country a yeah we're gonna conquer and we're gonna kill all the soldiers we keep, we're gonna kill all the men young boys we make them into a slave young women Women, we're gonna turn them into sex slaves, okay? Adults, men, adult men, we, we're gonna kill them all. That's how they conquer. Okay, it's a steal, it's a theft. Small country, there's uh, country B, they have nothing to offer. This country, big country, doesn't wanna have nothing to do with them. So they, but it's a poor country, so this big country, a lot to offer, right? Positive copium, right? So they, they illegally immigrate because this big country, see, made a law that uh, our country B cannot net be naturalized into country C's citizenship, okay? We're gonna, we are not gonna give you citizenship. And if you illegally immigrate, kill them. So they kind of disguise themselves as a country A person or country C person they illegally immigrate okay <laughs> so all right so you got the idea and um so let's talk about this Jewish immigration okay so back in the days way back way back uh thousands of years ago uh, white people in Europe used to be just barbarians okay they yeah they have some Norse mythology they have some fantastic stories okay vikings fantastic ship agile ship 
they have their own wonderful culture, but uh, it's all relative, okay? It's, but uh, compared to the civilization, I'm talking about thousands of years ago, okay? Compared to the civilization of Egypt or the Middle East, Israel, um, Northern European white people, they used to be barbarians, relatively speaking. Okay, so civilization is from the Middle East. Okay, so from Egypt, Tigris and Euph Euphrates River, the Middle East, Israel, that, that was the center of the world. And also China, China as well. Okay, they were the center of the world. And um, the white, white people used to be barbarians. Okay, they were not the center of the world all the time. But later on, they... Uh, so they, the last age and era when the Middle East was the center of the Western Hemisphere was uh, the Roman Empire. Okay, that was the peak of the Middle Eastern civil led civilization. Okay, Middle Eastern Rome. So Italians, they are not exactly white people. No, they're half white, half Middle Eastern. How many people in Ita Italy? now are blonde or blue eyes no they're not that many right i mean even if you go to like paris like paris or france yeah they're mostly middle eastern okay so white people what i mean by white people are like nearly white white skin red hair blonde hair blue eyes green eyes Pretty much the same definition that Hitler, Adolf Hitler had. Um, he called them Aryan, but uh, something he made up. And he himself was, didn't have blonde hair, he had black hair. Okay. Maybe he had blue eyes and white skin, but uh, whatever. So, yeah, Hitler's position of protecting and preserving the purely white race is valid. Humanology agree with that, okay? Not everything Hitler th said or thought is wrong, okay? Just because he's Adolf Hitler, no. Be, again, don't be emotional, okay? Be rational, all right? Um, I'm not always unemotional, but Jesus got angry too, okay? He turned upside down this table, all the sellers in the church, yeah, he got angry a few times, so it's okay to be angry a few times, as long as you don't hurt anybody or anything, then you're fine. But we are all humans, okay? It's okay to be angry now, every now and then. So don't hurt yourself or anybody or anything. So, yeah, uh, that's like America. America are next, like Puerto Rico, Virgin Island, Guam, Samoa. But America does not want to have anything to do with Mexico. So Mexicans start to come to America illegally. What if, oh, maybe Mexico is not small enough for America to have a war and absorb. But is Mexico a poor country who have nothing to offer? No, I, of course not. I've been to Mexico. It's a fantastic country be with beautiful women, wonderful culture, music, food. Fantastic country. Mexico is a great country. I love Mexico. And, um, um, but America has a lot of, a lot to offer, okay? So that's why people all around the world come to America at least to study as a PhD and that's how my parents came to America uh, for a few years to study uh, my father my mother came along with my father and um, of course my mother is a very smart person and she got a job there and she learned English and yeah she was uh, she got a job uh, I think as a typist and um, yeah she contributed and she gave voice to me here and then we left America so 
but yeah, it's true that uh, yeah, uh, I guess my father, my mother, they both. My father studied and on scholarship. My mother worked. So, but the contribution to America by my parents are very minimal. Okay. And then they gave birth to me here, and America gave me citizenship. So, yeah, maybe um, I'm taking more from America than I give. I gave possible so this could be a good rationale that uh, I should not live in this country anymore because my ancestors my parents my grandparents they all worked for Korea not America so I don't deserve to inherit the citizenship of America that's why I should get out of America and stop being Amer an American and stop benefiting from America. That's a decent rationale, okay? So, I can rationalize the logic of Trump administration better than anybody who works for Trump, okay? So, <laughs> America is lucky that I'm not working for Trump, okay? Because if I war working for Trump, Donald J. Trump right now, then America would be, have been ruined because I would rationalize every single policy that he uh, pro propagandized, which are many of which are wrong and bad for America. Okay, so America is lucky that I'm not Donald J. Trump's lawyer. Okay, I'm a lawyer on paper, okay? so. America is lucky that I'm I'm not working for Donald J. Trump because I'm I'm just too smart. I can rationalize and defend anything. Alright? So America is lucky that I'm not Donald J. Trump's employee. Okay? Because uh, I, I would be doing way too good a job defending Trump. And that's not good for America because many of Donald J. Trump's ideas are wrong. Alright? So yeah, so um, and I I still am as long as I have my citizenship. I I'm running against Trump in 2020 in presidential election. So what I would do about illegal immigration is this: I'll just do this. Don't ask, don't tell. Okay, I'll turn blind eyes and I would not think about it. I will not talk about it. I'll just ignore it, okay, because, but I will build a wall, southern wall between uh, Mexico and America because it's bad for Mexico, and I love Mexico, I care about Mexico, that's why we need the wall, okay, and is it bad for America that there are illegal immigration? <sighs> well, it's about drugs, you know, drug trafficking, yeah, it's bad. America okay all the illegal drugs coming across the Mexico America border yeah that's bad for America and um, how about illegal immigration in general not just Mexico but just illegal immigration in general is it necessarily bad for America um, well it's a law right immigration law it has its rationale, okay, so what, so okay, I'm, I'm kind of like I immigrant, okay, so I was born in America, I got my birth certificate, and then I grew up in Korea, so I came back to America after 18, and um, what happened was, I did, yeah, we, before I came to America, I studied English for 12 years. Elementary school six years, middle school three years, high school three years, 12 years, maybe not 12 years, maybe seven years, right? Yeah, because I started school, elementary school, like about like sixth grade, fifth grade, they start teaching English, okay? Nowadays, it's earlier, but when I was there in 1980s, yeah, it was like that, so. Yeah, I studied English for about seven years, right? And um, 
it was not good. My English was not good when I first came back to America. Okay, um, so so yeah, that language barrier. Okay, it's kind of a burden to society. So what I did was I joined Korean church. Okay, uh, Korean church in America. So Korean community. Okay, so because I, I need people, I need friends, and you know, socialize. I have my needs like everyone else. So, yeah, fantastic con community, okay? Korean community, Korean church community. I was baptized in a Presbyterian church. Yeah, it, it went wonderful people, but mostly they, uh, they are like students because I came, the first time I came to America, came back to America was uh, I, when I was in college and I applied, I took LSAT. I'm not at SAT in Korea so and TOEFL okay TOEFL and SAT in Korea so I yeah I, got, I applied and I got admission and yeah I started attending college okay after I graduated high school in Korea so um yeah and I I went to Korean church and you know made friends and nice people wonderful people not every Koreans are nice though okay you have to know this you, not every Korean is a nice person, okay? I'm a nice, per nice person, I'm a nice Korean-American, but don't think every Korean is nice and smart like I am, because there are some stupid Koreans and s evil Koreans, okay? So, um, just wanna give you a warning, okay? So, don't trust somebody just because he's Korean, okay? Because he's not me, okay? <laughs> All right, so, Yes, and then uh, yeah, I went to Korean churches, church, and then churches, whatever. And then um, then I started to expand uh, my social circle, and I stopped going to Korean church, and actually I stopped going to church at all, whatsoever, whatever church. I went to some American churches, but I stopped going to churches. Period. Okay. Because I started learning English and I started making uh, non-Christian friends, American friends, secular friends, and I started to go to parties, you know, college parties, and yeah, and um, so Americans are nice, okay? Uh, Americans are nice. They love me, and I love them, and. I don't, I don't think any American who knows me would want me to leave America, okay? Uh, maybe, maybe some of them, I don't know, whatever. So, imm this immigration, we, we're not talking about just Mexico, okay? We are talking about China, Korea, Poland, Canada, Australia, what, what, or Africa, whatever, okay? So they are immigrants, okay? Because America have a lot of money nowadays, where well, it's on debt, it's the negative money, trillions of debt, right? But America has a lot of white people, okay? White people are very beautiful people, okay? So we ethnic people, we love white people, okay? That's what, one of the main reasons why we came to America, okay? Immigrants, because, uh, other than white people, we are all browns. Africans, Middle Easterns, Asians, we are all browns. We have brown skin, brown hair, brown eyes. That's it. It's, it's ev all of us except white people. Okay, that's why the direction of immigration is always mostly 99% to, toward white countries like Canada to Canada to United States or to Europe. Okay, from anywhere else, everywhere else, like from Asia, from Middle East, from Africa, okay? They cover the general net sum immigration pattern, immigration direction is uh, toward white people, okay? Why? Because they are beautiful. Also, they happen to be the most powerful uh, civilization today, okay? Back in the days, it was not. It was the opposite. It was the center of the world was the Middle East. 
and China. Okay, so why people came to the Middle East? They invaded Middle East, Roman Empire. Roman Empire is not white empire. It's Middle Eastern Empire. Okay, so Greeks, Romans, uh, Turkish people, and Persia and Egyptian, Israel, they're all Middle Easterns, okay? Israelites, Jews, they are not white people. They are Middle Easterns, browns. Brown skin, brown hair, brown eyes. They are browns, okay? Just like me, okay? <laughs> so, Middle Eastern, yeah, Roman Empire, the, it was the apex, the, the uh, climax of the uh, Middle Eastern, the brown people, okay? And brown people are the ancestors of human race too. Adam and Eve, they were not white people. Jesus, Abraham, Isaac, Israel, Jacob, they are, none of them are white people. They are brown people. They are Middle Easterns, okay? They did not have blonde hair like Jesus, Paul, John, all those people. Mark, Luke, Matthew. Job, David, Saul, Solomon, they're all brown people, Middle Easterns. Brown eyes, brown skin, black hair, okay? They're not, they were not white people, okay? So, civilization, like Adam and Eve, they all started in the Middle East, okay? And then um, people migrated up north for whatever reason. Uh, maybe they wanted to play with snow, I guess bears and they became white okay <laughs> and they stayed barbarian for thousands of years and and then uh, there was this Roman Empire in the Middle East and then they came invade Visigoth and Vikings and Vandals okay they are white people from Northern Europe they invaded and they conquered they destroyed Roman Empire okay <laughs> that's the white people Later on, they caught up and they became the center of the world. Okay, so let's take a break. Take a break. Next, next we'll talk about anti-Semitism and Jewish people.
Okay, we're back. And let's talk about anti-Semitism. All right, so hum humanology is not for the faint of heart, okay? So we talk about tough issues, okay? Actually, we love tough issues because they are challenging, okay? So anti-Semitism is nothing but one instance of m a more general concept. Just one instance, one example of more general concept called uh, what? What do you think it is? What is it? General phobia, right? Yeah, <clears throat> general phobia, okay. So, anti semitism is just one example of general phobia. It's not phobia, phobia is not a good terminology, it's not fear, it's more like a despise. Hatred, or disgust. It's not they are not afraid of this minority. No. So, phobia is term coined by the psychology, and psychology is very stupid uh, academic discipline. It's not even a discipline. It's a, some bullshit. Okay. So, psych humanology considers psychology as garbage. It's not knowledge. It's garbage. Psychology. Everything that has. That is wrong. Psychology is garbage, pure garbage. Okay, it's a bullshit. So I'm not talking against psychologists or psychiatrists. They just need to learn, unlearn everything that they learned in school in psychology. They they need to relearn, just learn humanology so that they can do a better job. Okay, I'm not against people. I'm not against evil concepts that possess people. Like a demon or devil, okay? I'm an exorcist or ghostbuster, okay? So, um, yeah, whatever. So, uh, anti Semitism is okay. So, once upon a time, there was this, uh, this is a timeline, okay? Uh, is this running out? Maybe it's time to buy new markers now. Whatever. Timeline, okay? Yeah, it's better. Timeline. Timeline. This is this is now, okay? Two 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 thousand, okay, two K. When there was uh one <clears> K, <throat> one thousand years A D they're okay, okay. Ah, whatever. Running out of space. Around this time, yeah, this was a center when this was when zero K when, when Jesus was born and he act, he was active for thirty years. Only lived for thirty years. Come on, he suffered. I think I think I talked about this a couple of days ago. Son of God, Jesus. He suffered for 41 days in all his three decades of life. Short life. He suffered for uh, what 40 days and nights of this fasting when he was tempted by devil in the desert. And plus one day in, in the crucifixion. Okay, that's it. That's all his suffering. We, the son of people, not so Jesus, son of God, he suffered for 41 years. Um, 41 days out of 30 years and he get all the credit all the praise all the worship He became a hero for suffering for 41 days. We unsung heroes, right? We suffer every single day of our life and we don't get praised. We don't become a hero We, we are just underdogs <laughs> We don't become president president or some Harvard Yale Nobel, no, Nobel Prize, Nobel Prize laureate. We don't become Hollywood celebrities. You and me, we, we are just underdogs I and mean, we suffer every day of uh, 80 years, 90 years. We suffer every day. But Jesus, Mr. Jesus, he was so lucky. He didn't choose to be the Son of God. He did not earn it. All right. 
He just happened to be son of God. And he suffered just 41 days of his three decades of life on earth and then he became a hero for millennia. Do you think that's fair? I don't think it's fair at all. Okay. I don't think that's fair at all. I, me or you, we suffer every single day of 80 years of our lives and we don't become a hero. Jesus suffered 41 days and he only lived 35 or well, 33 years and he became a hero. I don't think that's fair. Whatever, man. Who said God is fair? Uh, whatever. I don't believe it. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, but I, I appreciate you. Even though God or Jesus does not appreciate you, I do appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you for being a hardworking, law-abiding citizen of whatever country you are from, you are at. Uh, I appreciate you. Okay, thank you. I, I am you and you are me, okay? We are all the same, underdog. We work hard every day, we suffer every day, and we nobody appreciates us, okay? And uh, we don't become heroes, we don't become president. We just live the way that is lawful. We never violate the law, but we get all the blames. Look what just happened to me yesterday, okay? I was born in this country by, and according to the law and constitution of this country I'm an American citizen and this stupid fucking Donald J. Trump came in and I voted for him. <laughs> stupid me, right? Yeah, I'm stupid too, okay? So I voted for him and people stupid like me, we put, put him in the office and now he's kicking me, kicking, he trying to kick me out of this fucking country fucking American country, okay? Fuck America, okay? America is fucking stupid. America is not s smart. No, America is fucking stupid. Look what it's doing to me, okay? He's, he's trying to kick me out of this fucking country, okay? Fuck America, man. Fuck America. But I'm not encouraging any crime or terrorism, okay? Look, man, I, I'm a pacifist. I'm a Jesusian. Of course, I, I disagree with all this special treatment that Jesus got. Just by being the son of God, his teaching ten is just the law, natural law. Uh, if we go against the law that Jesus conveyed or revealed to us, it's like the law of gravity. If we go against it, we die. You jump off the bridge. Doesn't matter how good person you are, you get hurt or you die that's how humanology sees the ethical teaching of Jesus it's not like we like that rule but it happened to be the truth whether we like it or not whether we agree or not you do something that again that is against the rules that is specified by Jesus or the Old Testament, something bad happened to you. Okay, like transgender people or transgenderism, gayism, not people, okay, because in the eyes of humanology, everybody's innocent. We, are, we just happen to be possessed by these evil ideologies, which was created by God. Okay, we are just. just Know this and get out of all this evil, destructive ideologies like marijuanaism, gayism, tattoo piercism, transgenderism. Okay, so just get out of it because if you subscribe to those things, and uh, you'll be destroyed. It's just you may not like that law, natural law, but that's what's gonna happen to you if you subscribe to the. Sugar fetishism, plastic surgeryism, gay, ta gay tattoo piercism. Okay, get out of it because I care about you. Okay, maybe God, Jesus doesn't care, does not care about you. 
that's why God created all these evil ideologies and made he made directed those evil ideologies to possess you God's handiwork I care more about you than God does than Jesus does okay because where is Jesus he's probably in heaven maybe eating popcorn <laughs> I think uh, Jesus and God, they are just eating popcorn, watching all this, this misery of rape and murder, theft, tattoos, piercings, marijuana, gay, transgenderisms. I think they are just enjoying the suffering of the people, innocent people. I care more about you than God and Jesus because I want I am the only God, only entity only thing only being this warning against tattooism piercism gayism transgenderism marijuanaism criminalism there's nobody in the world in the universe who's warning you against all these evil self destructive things sugar fetism obesity and plastic surgery all those horrendous things that's gonna eventually ruin you god is not saying that to you jesus is not saying this where is god where is jesus okay i'm not even their prophet i'm nobody okay i'm saying this because i care about you i want you to be happy i want you to be successful you're not paying me money. I'm doing this for free, pro bono, okay? And what am I risking? Everything, even my citizenship, okay? My job, my friends, they see me doing this. They may never see me. They may fire me. They may kick me out of this country. And I don't care because I care about you. I don't care about myself. My life doesn't really have much to offer in this world, okay? Or this country, or any country, okay? I, no girls want to date me. I don't get sex. I never get to have sex. I want to have sex with women. I just need one woman. I'm a simple guy. To make me happy, I need just one woman. That's it. I'm, but look, that woman has to have no tattoo, no piercing. She sh should have some long hair and slender body and whatnot. But it, it just takes one woman to make me happy, but uh, no woman want, want me, so... Uh, of course, she, she should be uh, some... She cannot be young, because I, I don't want to have kids. Okay, so... Yeah, it's not simple, it's complicated, but... Uh, yeah, she should be like late forties or early fifties, and she should have some kids and grandkids, or not. So that, because I don't want to have kids. I, if she want kids, if a woman want kids, I don't want her because she, because I don't want kids. Okay, she should have meet a man who want who be willing to give her kids because I don't want kids. I can give her kids, but but I don't want to have kids. Okay, so. <sighs> Whatever, man. I think we need another break, okay? Let's take a break, okay? So we, we talk about human history of anti-Semitism, whatever. Oh, man, it's getting too long. But I've been doing this as long as uh, I have American citizenship, okay? So...
Okay, I'm kind of getting hungry, so uh, let's wrap this up very quick and uh, so that I can have my third meal of the day, um, dinner. Okay, so kind of look like okay, it was 0k, AD, okay, we have BC, AD, okay. So, kind of long story, um, but long story short, Middle East time was the center of the universe here, okay, and then over well, 1,000 years, the, so the Roman Empire, okay, and 1,000 years, uh, it start to start to go down, okay. The white people was way down here, it start to go up, okay. So they took over the Roman Empire, they uh, conquered and destroyed the Roman Empire, and then then there was uh, this dark age, okay. And uh, white people start to go up. So white people are like the center of the universe since then, okay? And then Jewish people came, came to white countries. They saw the white light. The Jewish people in the Middle East, they start to migrate to white countries. They are, they are the Jewish mi immigrants, okay, in Europe. Yeah, Middle Easterns, okay, but yeah, they're newly Im immigrants and white people saw that and but Jewish people are very smart and industrious. It goes together, okay. They are smart because they are work hard, they study hard. So, and white people saw that these old Jewish people taking all the creams of the this milk and then um, they got all the financial in industry and top ranking scientists like Albert Einstein or Sigmund Freud or philosophers many top ranking ac academic people or financial people many of them are Jews okay so like uh, Karl Marx okay so Karl Marx Sigmund Freud they are all wrong ideologies communism and Freudian psychoanalysis, psychology, they were garbages. But still, they had some humongous power. Okay, they're evil, but uh, they're wrong, they're stupid, but still they had a lot of power, okay? Yeah, so there's, there must have been something there, okay? They have a huge influence. And Albert Einstein is controversial for sure, but uh, I like some of his theories, okay, so They're not as, at least not as bad as Freud or Karl Marx, but um, So yeah, Jewish people were seeking this white light, okay, so they came to Europe because they saw Europe, they're smart So they saw Europe going up in power, okay, so that's what they were after and white people, this, cal this contemporaries, they saw Jews, oh, they're not like us. They just came to steal from us. They marry all these beautiful white girls who are our daughters, our sisters. And they marry and their children have all this brown hair, brown eyes, brown skin like they are. The Middle Eastern Jewish. So, yeah, they started to hate Jews. <laughs> That's anti Semitism. Okay, so it has some rational, understandable reason behind it. Okay, look at these brown people who came to white Europe and taking all this inheritance that our white ancestors has accomplished and they inherit so it's like we talked about this before okay this uh, adopted child from Asia taking all the inheritance from white parents and this biological white children from white parents this biological white kids get nothing in inheritance so they get jealous so they start to hate this Asian boy who is adopted son, okay, so yeah 
America racism in America is kind of like that too. Okay, so hey, here comes this Asian guy. Okay, you took our job. You took our money. And now you're gonna take our women too. Okay, so. So yeah, this ultra interracialism this ethnic man coming to a white country and taking white w brides i i don't like that stuff okay so i'm very protective i'm i'm an ethnic man who love white girls because that just like any ethnic man any ethnic man love white girls okay any ethnic man in the world 80 percent of human population okay men yeah we love white girls period i'm just being honest about it i am the only ethnic man who can acknowledge admit this because i'm strong man i'm a real man the rest of the ethnic men they're all pussies they're all cowards weak people okay I am an ethnic man who is strong and brave and courageous enough to admit and handle, face the truth that white women are just undeniably and attractive and they're irresi irresistible to ethnic men because we grew up with ethnic women and they will have brown eyes, brown skin, brown hair. But we see, we come here and see all these white women with blonde hair and red hair and white, pink, orange skin and blue eyes and green eyes. Oh, wow. I want to have sex with those girls. Okay. That's all ethnic men. Okay. But I don't act on it because I want to preserve that white beauty. Okay. So immigration itself is not bad because of course it's a gauss curve, gaussian curve okay like anyone else immigration population all around the world to america smart people stupid people more stupid people mostly they're in the middle okay so yeah, immigration itself is kind of neutral, okay? Uh, legal or illegal? Well, illegal immigration is bad because the very first thing they do in America is to break the law. That's a bad start by coming to this country illegally. That's why I, I agree with Donald J. Trump. Southern border war is necessary. It's a good idea, okay? I, I agree with him. I don't like him because he tried to kick me out of this freaking country. Okay, I would not be saying this shit about America except for Donald J. Trump administration who give me all this bullshit, trying to make me jump through the hoops and that really pissed me off. So I don't like Donald J. Trump anymore. I used to love him, but now I don't hate him, but I don't like him either. Okay, I. Ah, yeah, he's like this. Okay, so I don't like Donald J. Trump anymore. Okay, he pissed me off big time. <clears throat> it's not that I'm running against him in 2020 as a presidential candidate. He doesn't know about it. Okay, because I'm nobody. He doesn't know me. Okay, it's his policy. And I know where it's coming from because he had two daughters, okay, Ivanka and whatever, the other girl. Tiffany, Trump, I, whatever, who cares, right? <laughs> stupid daughters, okay, he has two daughters, it, they're both fucking stupid. So I think they both have this plastic surgery, this boob, breast augmentation surgery because they wanted to be a model or some shit, right? Idiots, right? The stupid dumb blondes. They're pretty, both of them. They're idiots. They're stupid. So, Ivanka Trump, she married this ethnic man, Jewish guy, right? So, and they had a daughter, and 
the grand old of Dao Zedrong, she looked like Hispanic. Dark skin, dark brown skin, brown eyes, brown hair, because Ivanka Trump, although she is blonde and white, she married an ethnic man, a Jewish guy. So their daughter is ethnic. Because an ethnic man marries an eth a white woman, their children are ethnic. Because ethnic gene overrides, overrides, wipes out the white gene. Because white, you have whiteboard, you write something down, blue, be blue pen becomes whiteboard become blue. If you write with yellow pen or black pen, it becomes yellow or black. Because white is colorless. Okay, just like that. It's a uh, it's a gene uh, in, uh, of the protein called melanin. Okay, it's it's a dominant phenotype, genotype, whatever. It overrides white. Okay, because that's why white gene is such a vul the most vulnerable gene. Okay, so yeah, Donald J. Trump is upset about that, but he cannot hate his daughter. He cannot hate his Hispanic-looking granddaughter. So. But he has to, he's angry, so he has to vent out his negative copium to somebody in a human space. So, Hispanics. Okay, that's why he hates Hispanics so much. Because his granddaughter looks like Hispanic and he cannot hate his own granddaughter. Okay? So he hates Hispanics. Okay? So, that's why he hates now every ethnics and he, he's now hating me, an ethnic man who want to protect and preserve the white race. Okay, so if there's one person who can save America, that's me. If, if, there, if there is one person in the universe who can preserve and protect white race, that's me because I'm not white. Okay, and if a white person want to protect and preserve white race, because he he will be uh, uh, regarded as white supremacist and racist, and nobody will take him seriously. But because just be, just because I'm not white and I want to protect and preserve the white race, I can make it happen. Okay, but Donald J. Trump was one of his stupid guy, so he wanna kick me out of America, and that's not not gonna happen, right? Because I will never be the president of America, and so America, white race will be wiped off the earth. Okay, so I'm the only person who can, and I cannot be. I cannot do. I cannot protect and preserve the white race if I, I'm just a, some guy in Korea. Okay, I have to be. I have to be the president of the United States. Uh, in order to for the white race to be protected and preserved or the world to be saved from all the evils in the world so I, I have all these solutions whatever problem this world have to have and okay so yeah but let alone being a president I may get kicked out of this country <laughs> What a misery, and I want you to be entertained from my suffering, then I'll be happy, okay? Because I'm, I'm an actor, filmmaker, so I'll be happy to entertain you, so. A guy in Alaska, lonely man in Alaska that no girls want to date. He dreamed of being becoming the president of the United States, and now America is kicking him out of America. Okay, let alone being the president, he cannot even be an American citizen because Donald J. Trump said no. Okay, I don't hate Trump, and please don't try to rebel against him, so let him finish his four term, four, I mean, four years, one term, okay? Let him finish, okay? 
and let him retire, let him golf, play with grandkids and whatnot. Just let him be okay. But in 2020, come 2020, you have to vote for me. Okay, because I can solve all your problems. I can make all the crimes go away. I can get rid of all the evils. But you have to elect me to the presidency in 2020. Okay? Alright, good night. I mean, as long as they renew my passport. <laughs> okay, good night. <laughs>